This body camera stabilizer is a further development of my old version 2-point stabilizer used for years. It is a do-it-yourself body tripod for video film purposes which I have almost always with me and in particular like to use it when traveling. The results of my documentaries have been much better and more professional with this new 3-point sort of body tripod as the one I saw comparatively filmed only by hand. In this video you wouldn't find a detailed do-it-yourself instruction, rather it is to be an inspiration for your own ideas and your own designs of this new 3-point body tripod. Why? Now I call it 3 real point stabilized system. The first stabilization point are the two handles. The two elbows can rest on the body and thus give the whole stabilizer a firm hold in the horizontal plane. The second stabilization point is a strap around the neck. It acts almost like a monopod and gives the rail in the vertical plane a very good hold. In this way, I have been stabilizing my video camera so far with a two-point system. And now I added a third stabilizing point to this support rail. This is the support rail which presses against the body and gives the stabilizer an extra grip. It can also be displaced in the rail and is then used in the lateral position as a shoulder rest. And I call it dynamic because I can move rapidly in all directions, up and down, left and right and so on, without any delay and recording immediately the video. Also overhead recording in crowded areas or in front of walls etc. is easily possible. With freehand recording and without any support, you clearly can see the vibrations on the pictures. Contrary, there is an obvious reduction in vibration with a stabilized system. What ends up probably faster in your luggage? The extra short carbon fiber tripod or the even smaller body tripod? Both have their own merits without question. Positive points of the tripods, secure footing, especially in panning shots and landscape photos or videos. Negative points of tripod, unconvenient dimensions despite of already implemented miniaturization and approximately 56 cm of length with head. High weight of about 1.7 kg despite of carbon construction. The benefit are small size about 30 cm in length, lightweight under 400 grams, good and stable camera control despite the unlashing of the camera, convenient and safer carrying the camera on the belly in the tourist mode. 
both hands remain free. This has already been proven in a thousand American countries. Squinting at the valuable camera have been many times reported to me. But the fate of other fellow travelers who had mourned the loss of their expensive camera did not concern me. Although I was in vulnerable areas. This is the arm relaxing position. The folded handles are made for heavy turning operations with installed spring washers, though they cannot lose their position when permanently in operation. Both handles were coated with inexpensive form bicycle grips. They can be stretched over the 90 degrees position farther apart until reaching the stop. It can also be used as a replacement for a steady cam. It is easily controllable by this lever. At the bottom of the main rail, a floating nut with a quarter inch thread is located as it is usually used for tripod mountings in photography. On this nut a homemade handle can be attached, which can be slided and fixed at any position of the rail. This handle is used for example when the camera needs to be held with one hand only and simultaneously the other hand is on the lens focus. Then it should be in the center. Uh, this floating nut finally also supporting arm was attached, which rests against the body. This gives the whole thing a most stable three-point stop or stabilization. Now a brief info to the floating nut. I made it from a commercially available furniture nut with metric thread M6x8. Such nuts are commonly used in wood processing and furniture industries and are also available in many hardware stores. The rice tips I have removed by using a pair of pliers with multiple up and down movements. Then sawed off the bottom pane side. My existing rail made also a reduction of the height of the threaded part necessary. The metric thread M6 cannot be used in the photography. Here usually a quarter inch thread is used. With an appropriate tap I have simply cut over it. It works. Another example would be to use the body stabilizer as a shoulder rig. Mm -hmm. 